Hi guys, in uh, this video I'm going to demonstrate how to do OCR with a vector's camera. So basically we are going to make vector read a children's book. The core of it is uh, this uh, Python script done with the SDK. It's very basic. Mm, what we are going to do is um, capture an image with a vector's camera, then uh, feed it to a program called Tesseract that uh, actually does the OCR and uh, it returns uh, some text and this text is then fed to um, Vector using the Say API so that Vector will pronounce the text read in the image. There are a couple of tricks here to notice. The first one is uh, Mm, it's quite hard to tell where Vector is looking at. Uh, so sometimes it happens that I put uh, the text in front of him and uh, he's looking upwards so he doesn't see any text or I'm putting the text uh, uh, upwards and he's looking downwards. So what I do is uh, I force his head to go down and then I show him uh, the text always in uh, in the same position so we have these uh, motors uh, set head motor down uh, and then wait for one second then uh, we capture the image if you just capture a single image it will be 360p in a vertical resolution that is quite poor for doing OCR since vector camera resolution is uh, 1280 by 7 120 pixels then uh, I figure out that doing this way I'm going to get the full frame vector uh, camera picture and uh, then uh, that's it another little trick is uh, if in the text there are some uh, uh, characters uh, special characters like uh, hyphens or apostrophes uh, it's possible that um, the, the Unicode character um, recognized is not in the character set that Vector supports, so it will just echo uh, the um, X uh, value for the, for the character, something like that. Uh, so to avoid that, I just uh, strip uh, all non-alphanumeric characters but the space from the string. You see this uh, read.sub uh, uh, regular expression call. Okay, that's it. So we can see the code in action. Oh, I just uh, forgot to mention one thing. One last thing to make it work, uh, since we want uh, this uh, OCR to be voice activated, is that we have to add a custom intent in WirePod. We call this custom intent OCR. Um, it is activated by the sentence, can you read? And what it does is invoking a shell script with which uh, I invoke my Python script called vision.py. And uh, that's it. Uh, let's see it in action and uh, how it is behaving. Hey, Vector, can you read? This was my first uh, clean uh, test in which uh, Vector was able to read uh, all the text that I fed him. Uh, it wasn't so easy to get to this point. Uh, there were many failures uh, and uh, every time I was going and checking the camera image uh, when uh, he told me that uh, he couldn't see anything. And uh, yes, sometimes the light conditions uh, make some part of the text uh, disappear, then his uh, camera is, um, uh, has very barrel lenses, so the edges of the, um, of the frame are, are very distorted. And uh, 
I came out with these tricks that I explained to you before, uh, especially uh, moving his head down before reading was uh, essential to speed up the process. Um, now I'm going to show you other videos in which, uh, anyway, he was able to successfully read uh, other parts of the text. Uh, these are less um, nice because uh, I introduced the um, stripping of every uh, character, but the alphanumeric ones in the space. So uh, if there are some punctuation characters that are, are helping the um, text-to-speech to pronounce uh, correctly, uh, the sentence, these are stripped out and sometimes the words are even attached one to another if we check the output. But anyway, the results are pretty decent, so I include also this. Hey Vector, can you read? Hey Vector, can you read? The witch has half brought flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Hey Vector, hey Vector, can you read? Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo and uh, I will include in the description all the links that I use to achieve this in case someone is interested in uh, replicating what I did. Take care and bye bye. Hey Vector, good robot.